Hi guys, you are on wrm24.com and today we are going to the assemble Samsung Galaxy M52. First of all, we need to remove the car tray. For this, we use a special tool. Insert it into the hole and carefully push out the combined tray for SIM cards and memory cards. If we have a tray badly comes out, we can additionally use tweezers. Then we need to heat the surface of the back cover to approximately 70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 7 minutes we can move on to detaching the back cover. To remove the back cover we use a thin plastic film. This film can be a film from a new display or a film from a stationary store. We carefully insert it into the gap between the back cover and the middle cover and gently run it around the edge, cutting off the adhesive backing. We always need to be careful around the cameras so as not to damage the lenses and we always need to be careful around the side buttons and fingerprint sensor as we have the cables and these places. After that we move on to removing the screws. For this we use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash 30 It looks like all the screws are the same, however it is better to place the screws on a special surface in a specific order so that we don't mix anything up when reassembling, just in case. Then we need to disconnect the fingerprint sensor cable connector. And after that we move on to detaching the middle cover. To do this we use a thin plastic film to insert it into the gap between the display frame and the middle cover near the hole for the car tray. We detach a few clips and then we can use a thicker tool. Also please note that the antenna transmission lines which are located in the upper and lower parts which are applied to a special layer which is much stronger, much thicker than before so that it will be much harder to damage them when removing the back cover than before. And we also need to be careful on the corners, as the cover is especially strong on the corners. And we detach the middle cover. On the cover we have contact pads and antenna transmission lines, fingerprint sensor and the loudspeaker. After that, we disconnect the battery connector with a non-metal tool. And we also disconnect the two connectors and remove the interboard cable. After that, we disconnect the coaxial cable connector, we disconnect the display cable connector, we disconnect the second coaxial cable connector on the subboard. And we can unscrew one screw which secures the subboard. We use a Phillips screwdriver 1.5 mm. And nothing prevents us from detaching the subboard. We carefully hook it over the edge and pull it out. On the subboard we have the charging port, microphone and other elements. And in the display frame we still have the vibration motor. And we move on to the motherboard. We need to remove one screw fixing the motherboard. For this we also use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver. And after that we need to disconnect the two connectors of the two coaxial cables. We can disconnect the connector and remove the front camera. So we gently hook the edge, lift it off and remove the motherboard. We turn it over 
and we are going to detach the rear cameras. Slightly hold the cameras so that they don't fall out. And we disconnect the last camera. As we can see, we have the motherboard. Ok, finally we move on to detaching the battery. We are not going to use heat to detach the battery and we are not going to use isopropyl alcohol. We insert a thin plastic sheet into the gap between the display frame and the battery and try to cut off the adhesive backing. Ok, we can't cut it off, so we use a thin tool to dry and lift the battery slightly and then run the plastic film. We carefully run the plastic film and take away the tool we used to leave the battery. We have to be really careful when we leave the battery, so as not to damage the battery shell. So carefully go up and down, back and forth, cutting away the adhesive backing. At some point we can create tension by gently lifting the battery. And we have to be extremely careful not to force the battery because it is so easy to damage the battery shell. So we continue with a plastic film to cut the adhesive backing. We carefully go deeper and deeper under the battery. At some point, we can already create stronger tension and for this we already use a plastic tool. In our case, it is a plectrum. And we already start to cut the glue back in from different sides. It took about 8 to 10 minutes to detach the battery. So, there is no need to hurry, there is no need to act forcefully, but of course we have to be patient, because the battery in our case is glued really firmly. And of course, we always be careful with the flat cables, coaxial cables, display frame, so as not to damage anything. So we continue to detach the battery. We can get the plastic film deeper and deeper under the battery. Ok, let's keep working. We cut off the adhesive backing and thereby detach the battery. With our other hand we hold the tool to create tension so we can work easier. And we can also look under the battery to see where we still have the glue layer. And as we can see, we need to go to the other side. On the other side we have the battery glued quite close to the edge of the display frame. So it is much more difficult to detach it in this location. Finally we can try to lift up and try to remove the battery. We gently pull it over, lift it up the battery and yes. So as you can see we have removed the battery and that is the end of our assembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos.
Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next video.